Hi everyone, Ariel with Ariel Paints. I get asked very often about tip jars and how I handle putting out a tip jar, if I have something in my contract about tip jars, and then just what I use. So today I'm gonna go over all of that as well as show you my tip jar. So first of all, in my contract, I do say that I will put out a tip jar for any public event. What that means is if I'm hired for a fair or a outdoor festival or something that is either pay per face or they're paying me to be at the event, but it's a public event open to a vast amount of people, I put out a tip jar. Um, I do have it in my contract that if you'd rather me not put out a tip jar for whatever reason to just let me know. I have never had anyone ask me not to put out a tip jar at a, an open to the public event. Now I do want to be very clear that I don't put one out for like corporate events, um, like large family picnics, if a business has hired me to come to their, you know, employee night out festival or party, that is not a public event to me. Um, so I do not put out a tip jar. And at those events where I'm hired, you know, per hour and painting for that company, um, if someone tries to tip me, I usually go, no, no, please don't tip me. Um, every now and then I cannot help people from trying to like shove money in my kit and that kind of stuff, but I don't encourage tips at all. Now, at other events where it is public and open to the public, I do put out a tip jar. Um, I don't ever put out tip jars at birthday parties um, or any event that is in someone's home. I do not put out tip jars for that. So open to the public events where I'm at either painting for free to the public and I'm getting paid uh, a certain amount by the festival organizers or something like that, um, I do set out a tip jar and people can tip me or they cannot tip me. So it's definitely just a choice that they have and I don't ever go, oh, don't forget to tip me or anything like that. I just put the tip jar out and sometimes I get tons of tips, other times I get just a few. Um, I will tell you though, at large, large events, where the corporation or the festival organizers are paying me and another artist to be there, when the parents aren't the ones paying you and then there is a tip jar, they are more likely to throw in a couple dollars, sometimes five, sometimes $20, depending on how good you are, how generous they're feeling, or if you just painted five of their kids, they're more likely to tip you a lot. So I do think it's really beneficial as an artist to have that out there um, because you can make a lot of money in tips. So as long as the organizers don't have an issue with it, which no one I've worked with has ever, ever had an issue with it, then I encourage you to put out a tip jar and whatever you make is just extra money. Um, for an example, I worked a public gig with a friend of mine a couple weeks ago and we made about... 400 some odd dollars in tips alone, which is huge on top of getting paid per hour. So it's a wonderful way to increase your income and to get a little bit of extra at gigs, especially those really, really hard gigs. Now this is a, an event where we worked our tail off and we were fast and we were good and we're a good team and I feel like we deserved to get a lot of tips and we did and it was amazing. So I encourage you to try it. Now as far as a tip jar goes, you can do all sorts of different things for tip jars. I put mine out by my sign where I have my you know rules as to who can and can't get painted and um, the options for the day of what we are painting. Mine's usually out there because that's where I want parents, parents and kids to see it. Um, I'm going to show you my old tip jar first. So this was my first tip jar ever and it was glass and yes it lasted so long and I was actually painting a gig with another friend of mine and it was a super super windy day 
and it fell off of my little table. Even though I have like Velcro on here, I didn't have my little table that I had the other side of the Velcro that I usually have it on. And it was just sitting on the ground, I think. And we haven't hadn't even set up yet. And the wind blew and it broke. And I'm not surprised because I should not have been bringing glass anyways. But I had this for like six, seven years or something crazy. And it just kept kept on ticking and never, never broke. So I just kept bringing it to gigs. Um, so you can see I kind of glued it back together because I was sad that it broke, um, but I have upgraded. So this is the old version and it does say I can only swim in money. And then I had a little stuffed fish in here and then it says help me and I painted it all up and I did love it. I think it's just sentimental and I just can't get rid of it, but I'll show you the new version. Okay, so tip jar 2.0. This is a plastic uh, fish bowl off of Amazon. I'll put the link below if anybody's interested in grabbing it. Um, it's a good size. You can see it's quite large. And of course, it will not break. And I feel better about having it be plastic anyways. I should have had it plastic all along, but oh well. So all I did was take some acrylic paint and I painted again because I like this. This to me is really cute. Um, and I just, it always worked for me. The kids always read it and comment on it and think that it's funny. And then the stuffed animal inside is another tactic. Um, so let me tell you about it and then I'll tell you why I like this. Okay, so again, it says, help me. I spent a little bit more time painting this one, so I do think it looks better. So it says, help me. There's a glare with my little light, sorry. And then it says, I can only swim in money. And then I just did some little acrylic paint fish and some little foliage underneath it. Um, I definitely wanted to keep most of this clear so that you can see inside it. Now I, okay, so the little fish in here is the same fish that I have had since the beginning of my tip jar. So it's just sentimental and I really like it. Um, I believe I got the old fish bowl and this at a pet store. Um, but again, it was a long time ago. Now, I do have this Velcroed. Let's see if you can see inside. So I put a little piece of Velcro on the inside of my tip jar as well. It's kind of in the back there. You can't really see it. But this way, the little stuffy is Velcroed down into the back. Now, not only do I think this is kind of cute and corny and kitschy, but the stuffed animal brings kids' attention to it, and then they end up pointing it out to their parents. This is why I like it, because a lot of times the kids do kind of like reach in here and try to grab the stuffed animal, which doesn't bother me, but then their parents notice, hey, tip jar, usually there's a little bit of money in it already, or they ask their parents, what does that say? Why is there a fish in there? And then their parents go, oh, it says, help me, I can only swim in money, and then they giggle, and then they grab a dollar or even there's some loose change in here and they throw it into my tip jar. So I personally like the fact that there's a stuffed animal, it's a fish jar, kids notice it and zone in on it, and then parents notice it too. So the last event I did, this was filled to the brim with money and you could not see my poor little fish but he could swim because he was covered in money so whatever you guys do for a tip jar just make sure that it's eye-catching creative that it's getting people engaged in some way to your tip jar I've seen a lot of tip jars where it's like a dual-sided tip jar or two boxes next to each other where it says something like princesses or superheroes or unicorns or mermaids or you know something to get people to vote and put a tip in that's a great idea too because it's engaging people like to be engaged so whatever you do for a tip jar i highly recommend that you do it so that it's noticeable it makes somebody laugh or it engages them in some way if you guys have suggestions on tip jars or something that you do that you find works really, really well, please comment down below because I'm not the only one that reads those comments. All my viewers do too. So let's help each other out. Tell me down below what you use for a tip jar or if you have opinions on tip jars, then go ahead and comment and let me know. So thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in my next video.